Okay guys, Bible time. Hope you can see this okay. All right, we're going to start at the beginning. What's the first book of the Bible? Genesis, right? All right, we're starting at the very beginning. In the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing to hear, nothing to feel, nothing to see, only emptiness and darkness, and nothing but nothing. But God was there, and God had a wonderful plan. I'll take this emptiness, God said, and I'll fill it up. Out of the darkness, I'm going to make light, and out of nothing, I'm going to make everything. Like a, like a mommy bird flutters her wings over her eggs to help her babies hatch, God hovered over the deep, silent darkness. He was making life happen. God spoke, and that's all. Whatever he said, it happened. God said, Hello, light. Light shone into the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, Hello, sea. Hello, sky. And a great space opened up, wide and deep and high. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, Hello, land. And there, splashing up through the oceans, came cliffs and mountains and sandy beaches. You're good, God said, and they were. Hello, trees, he said. Hello, grass and flowers. Everything everywhere burst into life. He made buds bud and shoots shoot and flowers flower. You're good, God said. And they were. Oh, planets. Liam's favorite. Hello, stars. God said, hello, sun. Hello, moon. And whizzing into the darkness came fiery globes spinning around and around, whirling orange and purple and golden planets. You're good, God said. And they were. Hello, birds, God said. And with a fluttering and flapping and chirping and singing, birds filled the skies. Hello, fish, God said. And with darting and dashing and wriggling and splashing, fish filled the seas. You're good, God said. And they were. Then God said, hello, animals. And everyone came out to play. The earth was filled with noisy noises, growling and gobbling and snapping and snorting and happy skerfluffly. Fluffering. <laughs> You're good, God said, and they were. A hippo, elephant, peacock, I don't know, like a toucan maybe? Monkeys, lion, bird. <laughs> There's the cats. A tiger and a leopard, it looks like. The fish and the turtle. What is that thing? Alligator maybe? Jellyfish. So God created life into Adam. So God breathed life into Adam and Eve. When they opened their eyes, wait, did I miss a page? I did not. So God breathed life into Adam and Eve. When they opened their eyes, the first thing they saw was God's face. And when God saw them, he was like a new dad. You look like me, he said. You're the most beautiful thing I ever made. It says in Genesis that God created us in his image. God loved them with all of his heart, and they were lovely because he loved them. And Adam and Eve joined into the song of the stars and the streams in the wind and the trees, the wonderful song of love to those, to the one who made them. Their hearts were filled with happiness, and nothing ever made them sad or lonely or sick or afraid. Wow, they lived in a beautiful garden. God looked at everything he made. Perfect, he said, and it was. But all the stars and the mountains and the oceans and galaxy and everything was nothing compared to how much God loved his children. He would move heaven and earth to be near them, always. Whatever happened, whatever it cost him, he would always love them. And so began a wonderful love story. <laughs> There's Adam and Eve. A big lion.